discussing the question cricket tournament. So, Odium Twenty Four is organizing a cricket tournament in which n teams are participating. This tournament is a knockout tournament, meaning that loser of each match will be knocked out of tournament and won't play any more matches. Winner of tournament is whichever team remains the, at the end without being knocked out. Tournament proceeds as follows: If there is only one team remaining, that team will be declared winner and tournament finishes. Otherwise, some two teams will play against each other, with the loser being knocked out. The thing that tournament will be interesting if at least m matches will be played before the winner is decided. Given n and m, is it possible for the tournament to be interesting? So our input contains t number of test cases, n and m, where n is number of teams and m is number of matches for an interesting tournament. So we have four teams and we need four matches. Which is not possible since team one and two play. So let's say two win. Now two and three play. Let's say three win. Now three and four can play, and let's say four win. So here we have this three matches possible. Now if four wins. There is no team left. Only one team is left, so the game is over, and this team is declared the winner. So, how many rounds are possible? Three, but we want four. Hence, we output no in this case. Now we have ten teams, and we want five matches. So let's continue here only. So one and two play two wins. Two and three play three wins. Three and four play four wins. Four and five play. Five wins, and then five six play and six wins. So one case can be this one, and as you see, five matches are possible. At least five matches are possible. So we output yes in this case. Now the idea is very simple here. If you want k matches to be played, then what you need is K plus one team. So here you want how many matches? M matches. So you want M matches to be played. So your N should be at least, which means greater than or equal to M plus one. So, if this is possible, then you will output yes. Else, you will output no. So, checking this, put four, four. So, four greater than equal to five, no. So, we output no. Ten greater than equal to six, yes. So, we output yes in this case. Hence, just return yes or no depending on this condition. So, let's look at the code. So here is the Python code for this. If n greater than m, return yes. Else, return no. That's it. So I hope you all understand this solution. Thanks for watching. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So here we are discussing the question cricket tournament. So Odium Twenty Four is organizing a cricket tournament in which n teams are participating. This tournament is a knockout tournament, meaning that loser of each match will be knocked out of tournament and won't play any more matches. Winner of tournament is whichever team remains the, at the end without being knocked out. Tournament proceeds as follows: If there is only one team remaining, that team will be declared winner and tournament finishes. Otherwise, some two teams will play against each other, with the loser being knocked out. The thing that tournament will be interesting if at least m matches will be played before the winner is decided. Given n and m, is it possible for the tournament to be interesting? So our input contains t number of test cases, n and m, where n is number of teams and m is number of matches for an interesting tournament. So we have four teams and we need four matches, which is not possible since team one and two play. So 
let's say two win now two and three play let's say three win now three and four can play and let's say four win so here we have this three match is possible now if four wins there is no team left only one team is left so the game is over and this team is declared the winner so how many rounds are possible three but we want four hence we output no in this case now we have 10 teams and we want five matches so let's continue here only so one and two play two wins two and three play three wins three and four play four wins four and five play five wins and then five six play and six wins so one case can be this one and as you see five matches are possible at least five matches are possible so we output yes in this case now the idea is very simple here if you want k matches to be played then what you need is k plus one team so here you want how many matches m matches so you want m matches to be played so your n should be at least which means greater than or equal to m plus 1 so if this is possible then you will output yes else you will output no so checking this put 4 4 so 4 greater than equal to 5 no so we output no 10 greater than equal to 6 yes so we output yes in this case hence just return yes or no depending on this condition so let's look at the code so here is the python code for this if n greater than m return yes else return no that's it so i hope you all understand this solution thanks for watching hello everyone welcome to the channel so here we are discussing the question cricket tournament so odm24 is organizing a cricket tournament in which n teams are participating this tournament is a knockout tournament meaning that loser of each match will be knocked out of tournament and won't play any more matches winner of tournament is whichever team remains at the end without being knocked out tournament proceeds as follows if there is only one team remaining that team will be declared winner and tournament finishes otherwise some two teams will play against each other with the loser being knocked out think that tournament will be interesting if at least m matches will be played before the winner is decided given n and m is it possible for the tournament to be interesting so our input contains p number of test cases n and m where n is number of teams and m is number of matches for an interesting tournament so we have four teams and we need four matches which is not possible since team one and two play so let's say two win now two and three play let's say three win now three and four can play and let's say four win so here we have this three matches possible now if four wins there is no team left only one team left so the game is over and this team is declared the winner so how many rounds are possible three but we want four hence we output no in this case now we have 10 teams and we want five matches so let's continue here only so one and two play two wins two and three play three wins three and four play four wins four and five play five wins and then five six play and six wins so one case can be this one and as you see five matches are possible at least five matches are possible so we output yes in this case now 
the idea is very simple here if you want k matches to be played then what you need is k plus 1t so here you want how many matches m matches so you want m matches to be played so your n should be at least which means greater than or equal to m plus 1 so if this is possible then you will output yes else you will output no so checking this put 4 4 so 4 greater than equal to 5 no so we output no 10 greater than equal to 6 yes so we output yes only hence just return yes or no depending on this condition so let's look at the code so here is the python code for this if n greater than m return yes else return no that's it so i hope you all understand this solution thanks for watching